hi guys today we're going to make a video about how to use uh client review on for the for for the funeral parlor you just go to your browser and type in www.kingmusa.co.za forward slash a p p s you hit enter yes then you type in your username and password yes after doing that you can see the dashboard how it looks like uh, you see it shows you how many clients you have here how many SMS's you have here how many female members and male members here and the graph shows you how much you make each and every month and this uh, pie shows you how man, much money you make in each and every product. This is a current calendar J. Here, that's where we're gonna print out owing people, paid people, and the expenses. This is where you get your expenses if you wanna print out something. So here, it can show you how many people are online. And uh, you come here. This is where you register your client. This is where you view your clients. This is where you deactivate or activate clients. Uh, this is where you see your users. This is where you see your register expenses. And uh, this is where you see expense category. So what we have to do first, we, if the system is new, you have to come and see and create a category here. Uh, let me see here. Come and say create categories. This is view. Let's find that. Oh, yes, here you click category. And then you want to know which category you want to make for these people. I would say this guy, I'm going to make premium. That's going to be fine. Save that. Created that. So if you go to view, view categories, you can see this is our premium so I'm gonna delete these because we're not going to use them now uh, and this and this yes after deleting those you can refresh yes we have only premium so you go back here you since you created our category you have to create our fees um, If you view fees, also these some of the things we're not going to use them. So, but okay, anyway, we're gonna leave them. So, but we're gonna create our new ones, whereby we're gonna go and say, uh, create fees. Okay, this is gonna be monthly. The people who pay you monthly subscriptions, sub. Then you save that. After saving that you come back here then you're gonna now create at least one client you say register client this person is gonna be called James Smith then last name we can say Lee ID passport you can put any cell phone number it should have at least 10 digits or seven one yes alternative number you can put all eight one okay address you can say 15 rose road Houghton estate estate okay then date of birth it has to be like this year first Okay, we're gonna say nineteen nine three. Then you say zero three, then zero one. So date join. When did this guy join you? So you say he joined maybe. Um, I'm gonna say twenty thirteen. Yes. Then is a male or a female, whatever I choose. Then it's a premium. This is what we selected and also we have a a, a a branch put it here 
then you save. After saving, it's gonna show you this. Then it should go back to. It doesn't go. I'm using a browser which blocks some stuff. If I say OK, it will go back here. OK, we created this person. Let's come and say View Clients. If you go to View Clients, you will look for James. James here. We have James Smith. I think he was created two times because there was some error. We can delete one person. We've deleted that person. And you're going to remain with one only. So, okay. We search for James. And uh, we have only one James and view James. Uh, then you can see all his information here. But James has not paid nothing here for us, no premiums. He has paid already. So this is phone number and all everything. And this is his client number. So you can come here and uh, check his address. His ID is here. His gender, name, surname, initials is Lee. So the picture if we had a picture the picture was gonna come here so james also needs to have dependents so we have them here okay it was spelled wrong but okay dependents has to be here so fees will display here let's first pay fees you click pay fees you put in maybe pays 500 a month then you say paid for we say premium premiums then debt this is very important whereby you say when to when so he's paying from the first of this month to 31st of this month this means if it comes to next month he's gonna come it's called the system is gonna display him in the in the people who are owing so it's a paid by James okay then you select what did he pay for we say fees we can say fees monthly fees you can say fees okay that's all you say pay so when you say pay you can see here on the home page it shows us that somebody has paid 500 so here it shows for the week we made that and the month this is much we made and you can see month feb we made for something and january 800 and march 500 you can see each and every month comes here on the graph and here we can show it shows like 100 percent is fees so we can now go to james view plants search for the guy and uh, view the guy so you can see now james has fees here how much he paid who captured the fees and the date he paid from to from to yeah and uh, paid for what how much then you can go here and print the invoice for him this is his invoice you can print it and give it to the client so after that you can go back here and uh, what we need here is to in case you made a mistake you can click on edit then you edit the fees or whatever you want to and also in case you this was not supposed to be here you just click delete it's gonna ask you do you want to delete if you say yes then it's gonna go so anyway so what we're gonna do next is to uh, put a dependent so you click on add dependent uh, so let's go back here I show you where the dependent is gonna come it's gonna come here in this section this section is for the fees this one is for dependents so a person might have from one dependent to ten then click add then you start typing in uh, the name of the dependent is gonna be Amin then we're gonna say who Smith then select alive or deceased whatever I want to we can say is alive then select mother, brother, fa father, sister, whatever. Then you're going to say the brother. ID, you can put the ID. Yes. Yeah, then. Then you're going to say, what is this? 
cell phone number i put a cell phone number alternative number telephone number 0112 something something then you finish that then after there you put the address it's gonna be they stay on the same address which is fine then select gender the male then you save dependent after saving dependent you can click go back and uh, you can go home and uh, click view then you look for gems which is uh, here you view gems now you can see gems has at least one dependent you can see so that's good then so uh, his profile at least if you want to put more dependents you can put and if you want to edit a dependent you can click there then you dip edit uh, in case this guy died then you can change from alive to deceased then you can go back here and delete if you want to delete that person so this is gonna be the profile page for Smith uh, whatever it does all his transactions and his dependents gonna appear here if you want to see uh, all his stuff yeah so after that you can see like this guy has been with us six years since 2013 so the system is gonna tell you how many years this person has been with the company you see so this way you're gonna see that so from 2013 to now it says it's six years which is true so you can go back to home page here and uh, check some other stuff so here you this we finished with registering a client and also view clients so we have to deactivate or activate a client so first of all we have to see how many people we have we have six of them so if you say activate client deactivate so simply means this client is no more active in our database but you never know maybe you're gonna come back one day so what we do we don't delete that person we say deactivate if we click deactivate you say okay uh if it says okay since we have six people you're gonna see now they're gonna be five so simply it means this guy is not deleted but it's still in the db so if you wanna see where he is you can go to activate and uh, you can find him here so if you maybe made a mistake you can activate this person back and you click that then come back here you're gonna see that uh we now st still sitting on six and if you can go to uh deactivate activate kids there's no one here so you've seen that how it works you're taking the child off and child in so system users uh that way you're gonna see the users who are on the system all oh, these users are on the system we can manage to see everything here if you want to delete a user if you want to view the user if you want to do something like customize and a user you come here so you come also home here and say register expensive category so here that's where we're gonna do things what do we spend on in the company maybe we spend money on petrol or we spend money on transport or on food or on water we buy water in our company whatever then we save that when we save we can come here and uh, say expensive category expense category you can see this is what we spent on we spent 200 on petrol 200 500 same thing anyway so what you do you go back here and uh, you say capture expenses so this time i'm gonna say we're gonna spend 450 what for uh what did we put uh, we put water we're gonna buy water and uh, then paid by then you say jeremy then description we bought drinking water water you can put a description why did you buy that water then we say select what and say save expense then when you saved so month end you can go and uh, go to expenses here print expenses so this is what you're going to give to your accountant maybe if you want him to do books for you so that's what you've spent in your company then we can go back here we left that all of this is done uh we're gonna go now to display cvs uh, this is where you can get people who are looking for jobs the system sometimes populate uh some names for people are looking for jobs okay 
then we leave that we come here you, this is not much important if you click here we don't know yeah we have smith and uh como they have birthdays this month so you can see this one passed this one passed also so we'll go back here and uh display uh we done with this display sms history it shows us when did we send sms's and whom did we send to who sent them what kind of sms's we sent here which date and uh, this is our company code anyway it was one 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 sms so you go back here you click on view category we saw that anyway this is the category we have only have only premiums but you can add more depending on what you sell in your organization so you come also here and view fees category this is the fees category you have books and whatever whatever so if you don't if you like you don't use that then you click that and you delete that then you can refresh then you can also create a new fees category so you come back here we done system users we done and uh, we go to register branch you can register a new branch to use your system here this is gonna where you're gonna capture a branch so after capturing a, a branch your branch is gonna show up here on the on the time when you're capturing a, uh, some a client so it's gonna ask you which branch you can see that so you can go back here and uh we finish the branch then you can say register a user so this is very important you come here and click and uh, put in the users the person who's gonna use your system in your office so you give him access here to this but here uh you're gonna select most of these are the same but there's one which is not here we didn't put because it's a master account so these all of these guys they won't be able to delete and to see some stuff but they can edit stuff and view some stuff and do uh transactions capture fees capture a uh, new clients and stuff but they won't be able to delete or to customize some sensitive information so when you're creating a user here you can put the email address send name name and also put a, a username here and create a password retype that password then select a branch in case it's working for one of the branches here you're in your company so here down uh we register user paid members these are people who are paid is the only person smith is the only person who has paid you see other people are owing us so so we go back here down and we see owing members so if we click on owing members we have one two three people these guys are owing us three of them so uh that means these guys we have to do something so that they pay us so we go back here and uh create category we did that and create fees we did that in the beginning so then we're gonna go to this section for sending sms's you click there and you can see sms history you click i think we did see this way by how many sms's and stuff and uh, what we didn't see is how to send an sms you click on send sms if you click on send sms it's gonna give you wanna select uh the guys under premium then you, you type in a message like that then you click send then the message is gonna go to that those people in that category so you come back here and say send single sms if you click there so it means it's gonna show you people here if i click on look on this box there's nothing here so but if i click on james click on james his name come here and uh, if i click on hilton also his uh, numbers come here then after you can type in whatever then you send so in case the list is so long then you can type just search here this is a search you can see they have only this guy with a j so in case you make a mistake and uh, maybe you select this guy twice the system will know so it's gonna only send to one to save your money so you go back here then there is this uh, way by it says send to owing people this thing is gonna only show people are owing you can see those are the three guys who are owing us so you can send them sms you can say click tip 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 there are three here so you type here and you send the sms so 
go back here also and uh, you click here and you say send to all so when you click send to all it doesn't give you any option to select anything so it means it's going to send for to the entire uh, database like I mean all your clients gonna receive this message yeah so we are done with this section of sending SMSs guys and I'm sure that we've concluded everything on this panel and uh, there's nothing I should show you much we've seen these people are owing you if you want to click and see owing people you can click there and it's gonna print for you here you can take it to your boss or file it somewhere and also you can see paid people if you click there we have only one person who paid Smith so yeah uh, guys I guess that was the end of our tutorial and uh, he these numbers which are rolling in here these are our numbers you can call us anytime if you want or looking for help or yeah guys thanks for watching see you in the next video